Don't make him proud, you made me cry. <laughs> Throughout the 80s and early 90s, Eddie was everywhere. He had the looks, he had the style, and me and all my mates wanted to be him. This was a bloke who had it all. His rise was meteoric. I don't really think I'm sexy. Oh, come on. Eddie became the face, or rather the rear, of Levi jeans. Vivian Westwood designed his bike levers, and of course, those looks and a talent like none other meant Hollywood wanted a piece of the kid too. Doubled for James Bond, Harrison Ford, Michael Douglas, doubled for Richard Gere in First Night on a horse. Eddie survived, but it was a close run thing. He spent three months in a coma, and when he finally awoke, he was left with life-changing brain injuries. That was 25 years ago. But here's the thing. When I set out to make this film, I didn't just want to tell you the story of my childhood hero. I wanted to meet him. Eddie now lives on the South Coast. He has a Cura, Glenn. Yeah, hello, pal, how are you? Good to see you. OK, good to see you. And they were good enough to let me stop by for a chat. The governor, the absolute governor, uh, Eddie. Pleased to meet you, sir. Uh, Pleased uh, to meet you. Uh, oh, I know he's a paddy. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, uh, I cannot believe I'm here with you. Uh, My mates will be so jealous. Uh, you, honestly, when I was a kid, I had your posters up in my bedroom it, until my mum too come for her own bedroom, but I don't want <laughs> to talk about that on camera. But it's an absolute thrill. I'm so glad you've let me come and see you down here. So this is the... The Great Wall of China jump. Oh! Uh, it was uh, the uh, hardest jump you've done. And the mayor... He, he was down the bottom of speaking to people. He missed it. He asked Eddie to do it again. <laughs> no way! <laughs> I don't, I I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie was the pioneer. He paved the way and inspired a generation of kids that are doing it now. He was the king of jumps. He would push it to the extreme every time he would get on his motorcycle. The fact that he started doing this when he was just 14 and jumping over buses in just a helmet and a leather jacket is insane. It takes that one person to do it, and then everyone else thinks, oh yeah, we could do that. Everything that he did was gnarly, and without Eddie, uh, you know, God knows where we'd be. You pioneered for all of us to have a fantastic career in this industry. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Keep smiling, buddy. I think it was a petrol fuse. 